the wound healing process is an interesting timeline of overlapping phases. It consists of four distinguished phases. The first stage of wound healing is called hemostasis. Hemostasis usually occurs within minutes of the initial injury. In this phase, platelets play a key role in sealing off damaged blood vessels by secreting vasoconstrictive substances. Platelets also secrete factors that interact and stimulate the clotting cascade through the production of thrombin. This initiates the formation of fibrin from fibrinogen. The fibrin mesh strengthens the platelet aggregate into a stable hemostatic plug. Platelets will also secrete cytokines such as platelet-derived growth factor, which is recognized as one of the first factors secreted in initiating the next phases. The second phase in the wound healing process is the inflammation phase. This phase can last up to four days. During inflammation, white blood cells, also known as neutrophils and mast cells, come in to clean up the damage. They provide the first line of defense against infection. Swelling, pain and warmth around the wound site are associated with this phase. Inflammation causes the blood vessels to become leaky, releasing a plasma into the surrounding tissue. A super white blood cell, called a macrophage, comes in to back up the other white blood cells. They are the second line of defense in the wound healing process. Macrophages also secrete a variety of chemotactic and growth factors, like fibroblasts, which start the rebuilding process involved in the third phase. The proliferative phase starts about two to three days after the wound occurs. The fibroblasts have begun to enter the site and the granulated tissue begins to appear. Granulated tissue is normally bright red, moist and has a bumpy appearance. This tissue contains the new blood vessels and other components to fill in the damaged tissue. The blood clots are eventually removed by the macrophages and the fibroblasts deposit new collagen to replace it. The final phase in the wound healing process is called remodeling or maturation. This phase begins several weeks after the wound has occurred and could last for up to two years. During this phase the epithelial cells are multiplying around the wound and start to enter the wound under the scab. The scab then loosens and eventually falls off. Cellular activity reduces and the number of blood vessels in the wounded area regress and decreases. And, that is the end of the wound healing process.